Tonight in Oakland, that's where we find Kenny Smith in warm-up mode tonight, set for TNT coverage at the top of the hour. Kenny, if you're a, if you're a Rocket tonight, you just heard Andre Iguodala is out for at least Game Four. What if anything changes in your approach or strategy? If I'm a Rocket tonight in 2017, that's a bad sign. Now, if you talk about 1995, Kenny, <laughs> or you talk about Kenny right now, Kenny right now would care. But I, I tell you, the one thing that Andre does, obviously, he brings versatility to the lineup, where he's able to, you're able to play multiple lineups. I think he's been playing better with the second unit more than the first unit. Uh, so I think it's going to affect the, the guys coming into the game uh, off the bench more than it probably will affect the, fi uh, the, the starters. Kenny, I want to talk to you about uh, Steph Curry. I, I know you there tonight, and um. You know, you and I both are fans of his, and I, I'm watching first, him warm up right now. I was going to ask you about the pregame warm up. Is he shooting? I'm watching right now. I got one eye over there. That's the most fun thing when we were there I doing know, the finals. Right? That, it's the most fun thing to watch a guy, you know, warm up because everyone has pregame rituals. His has become infamous, but it is different. It is yeah. different from most guys and what we've ever seen guys and what they've done to warm up. So, so here's my question. Now, now that the cat is out of the box, right, and, you know, the, the explosion happened, you know, last game where, you know, he was shooting it from hash mark and he was shooting it from half court. <laughs> what do you think the Rockets can do to put him back in the box? Because, in my opinion, that's the only way they have a chance of winning this series if they can put him back in the box and contain him again. Well, I, I, I liken it to what when um, the Cleveland series a couple years ago when Della Dover was guarding him and he was in that box and then all of a sudden he had that breakout game. Um, I, I don't think that you keep great players like yourself, like him, in, in a box. I think overall, you know, they, they're going to figure out how to get out of it. And what you have, I, I think for, for the Rockets, it's more their offensive execution, uh, passing the basketball, creating a pace that he's not comfortable playing in. Right now, they got into a pace that he's comfortable to play in. He was able to just kind of maneuver his way around. Uh, I think when they play at, a, a, at a, a pace when they're not isolating the basketball and the ball is moving, he concentrates defensively. And then he's, it's tougher for him on the offensive end. But when he's not concentrating offensive, uh, defensively, then this is what happens. And he gets to the rim. And that's what separates him from, you know, a lot of great shooters. He has been, he has the ability to get to the rim and get layups. And that, that opened up his game, as, as Draymond said, and I think we had said earlier, in, in the telecast. Kenny, using his box analogy, uh, James Harden <laughs> may actually be the biggest beneficiary of Iguodala not being there. Maybe this gets him rolling a little bit. What can Golden State do to, to counteract the loss of Iggy on the defensive side of the floor? The one thing that I, I, I do think that the advantage that Golden State has against any team in the league is their fours and five, which is really Kevin Durant and, and Draymond Green for extended periods. They are used to playing perimeter people because th they are perimeter people. They aren't guys who, who really are, they're just big guys who happen, happen to be guards. So when you switch and you got Kevin Durant or Draymond Green on you and you're, and you're James Harden, you don't have the clear advantage that you have against every other team in the league. So I think they have to abandon the pick and roll and just open the floor up and penetrate in and pitch to the wings. The guy gets it again, penetrates in, because the pick and roll to me actually serves them as a disservice when you switch those guys on them. All right, Kenny, we'll uh, look forward to the coverage tonight at the top of the hour with you and the fellas there from Oakland, and we'll talk to you soon. All righty. That's a pretty blue suit you got on, my man. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Time to take a look at the uh, shot chart presented by Kaiser Permanente. In fact, let's take a look at a pair of shot charts because you need two to tell the story of Steph Curry's Game 3. He was just 3 of 11 in the first half Sunday night and 1 of 7 from three-point range. Then the third quarter happened. Hmm. And the, again, second, that, the third what, what quarter happened. happened. <laughs> happens a lot. The in cat Oakland got out of the box. Wherever the Warriors, they out of the box again. <laughs> uh, in the second half, he was 10 of 12, including 4 of 5 from three-point range. He's way, way out of the box.